Hello, in this video I'm gonna do a review video of a really cool filament from Extrant. It's called TF30PA6. It's a nylon based filament with uh, uh, glass fibers. So let's have a look after the intro. So this filament I got comes in a 2.2 kilo spools. It's quite <laughs> uh, it's fun to work with. I have to make like a makeshift pull holder <laughs> for it out of some bearings, but it was good fun. Um, this uh, came to me in a sealed bag, but as with nylon, when it's stored for quite some time or, or even less time in a humid environment, it needs to be dried. So that's pretty common with, with nylon. So I tested some prints before I tried the filament, but uh, got some stringy issues and, and not very strong layer adhesion and that was expected of a wet filament but I tried the filament in the oven at 70 degrees for 20 hours or so and after that I got really good results and I want to show you some prints I did. I also did some strength test both with wet filament depending on print temperature and and also after I dried out the filament there's a huge amount of change in, in strength so that's an interesting result to see how much it affects the layer adhesion the, maybe if it's dry or, or wet but first I, I printed out my normal test prints uh, like the first ones are uh, some overhang tests and they came out really nice uh, two of them uh, there's uh, like no drooping there's a little bit of texture change here in the 70 degree part, but uh, it's it's no drooping, so to speak, just a slight change in, in texture. So overhang performance on this filament was really good. Um, and I did a, a bridging test and with, with no part cooling, and a nylon usually has a little bit of drooping issues. And this came out pretty good for a nylon, I would say. There was, there was some drooping, but nothing too serious. And, and I've seen quite, I've seen worse. <laughs> and then I tested uh, my normal models, like the, the Omnom model by Tessa, and the Otis model by Gareth. And both of those were printed before I tried the filament. So, like here for the Otis model, I had a little bit of stringing. In between, I cleaned some of it away, but that was uh, uh, quite apparent with, with wetter filament that you have some stringing. Um, I printed as well several layers a lot, and here you can see some stringing. Um, here's a after drying <laughs> series layers a lot. It's really clean and, and no issues. Uh, overhangs here in the hand came out excellent and absolutely no stringing. So with nylon filaments, you can see maybe there's also a, a slight uh, uh, change in, in this one, the wet filament looks a little bit more grey and the dry filament more more black so there's a small change in in colour or intensity of, of the black so the dry filament looks a lot <laughs> lot better <laughs> uh, I also did a Benchy um, here's a wet print <laughs> and here's a dry print the wet print came out pretty nice except the uh, stringing and when I dried out the filament, it came out really nice and really cool, cool benchy. Uh, maybe here on the uh, chimney, there was a lot uh, heat going on because there was no part cooling fan. It's a little bit melted, but uh, if I would turn the part cooling fan, I'm sure I would uh, be able to get rid of that issue. It was just a small amount or a print a little bit slower, maybe. Here's also my maker coin. And that came out excellent, absolutely no issues with that, um, pretty nice, this is hollow inside and it's very lightweight, <laughs> it came out excellent. I'll show you my, I've shown you my normal test pieces, here's a wrench I did, unfortunately I was unable to break out the, the key, the, it was too high tolerance, maybe as there was a, like a high tolerance and a low tolerance version, maybe I printed the wrong model. But this is extremely rigid and, and strong, um, so it's a great looking item. Um, here's a door holder, hold door. <laughs> so you put it on the door to like a door stopper, and it has the hold door word from the Game of Thrones series. <laughs> Found it quite funny model, uh, it looks great, and you can see the, the side 
it's very smooth and really really nice and here this is a top layer uh, looking really nice as well uh, so this is a really practical use case for a tough filament like this it's going to be banged around by a door <laughs> quite a lot and this filament is ex extremely strong and then i printed out a, a phone case for my samsung phone uh, it's just a model of found on thingiverse for samsung phone and it's pretty pretty rigid as well um, here are some utilities <laughs> this is like a garden hose adapter um, uh, adapter for a garden hose to put on your sink so those are just practical items that i decided to try out and they are super rigid and uh, um, look really nice um, i was quite happy with those um, here's a like a wind director end cap for a trailer it's like where the heat comes from the heater in the trailer it blows hot air and you can rotate this to direct the air and i created this model and, and this is gonna be as a replacement because the original one is, is broken and here's some practical prints this is a filament sensor for my prusa mk3 printer it's a housing for a, a to do the Bontec extruder upgrade, you need a new housing for the sensor. So this is a housing for that. Um, here's a small pin that I used in my trash can. <laughs> it had a broken pin to because it's stuck to uh, the door on the cabinet. And I designed this pin and it has been working for like two weeks now. Um, here's one <laughs> cool print. This is a uh, Counter-Strike uh, knife that I found the model of um, printed. It's a two-part piece glued together, so it printed flat on the bed. And it looks super nice and it's super strong. Uh, it's really, really nice looking. And my son is waiting me, waiting for me to finish this video so, can, so he, can, he can take the knife <laughs> and show off to his friends. It's, it's super cool. Those were the prints I did uh, to show off the filament overall. Uh, that you have to keep in account for nylon, you have to dry it before you print with it. It will give, give you stringy prints if you don't. So that's uh, something that you have to keep in mind when you get nylon to dry it. I was drying it uh, and after three, four days standing in the living room, it was showing the effects of getting wet again. So over the time I was printing, I dried it, I think, three times because I was printing parts in, like in intervals. So drag it in the oven at 70 degrees for half a day or, or 12 to, to 20 hours is plenty good. I think you only need seven or eight. But I kept it overnight and then went to work and came back. <laughs> but, um, then I have here on the, in front of me like almost 300 brake tests. <laughs> it's a big pile of, of brake tests. Um, you can see here in the close the camera, it's quite a lot. <laughs> uh, uh, I want to show you the results in the Excel sheet of the brake test. I did, I did uh, test the filament when it was wet and got very random results. And then I tried it a little bit uh, and it got a little bit stronger trying it for two hours. And then I kept printing on the, all the temperatures. But then I was finished with that round, I switched over to a dry filament. I tried it for 24 hours or 23 hours, I think, and printed out quite a number of tests to show you. I'm going to switch over to the screen to show you, show you my results. So here on the screen you can see the, the print temperature at the bottom and the strength of the filament in kilos on, on my test apparatus. And I have a separate video on the test apparatus that you can have a look at to see my process but all those temperatures uh, numbers are average of 20 breaks per uh, temperature print so as you can see uh, it's a quite a quite a number of prints i did uh, you can see uh, as the temperature rises its strength of the filament or layer adhesion is, is getting better and better and here's a small dip uh, it might be a uh, just an error in the in the test break apparatus or, or my method. I'm not sure why uh, this temperature was working a little bit better than 250 but overall you can see the average line is going up uh, so there's a 
gradual change and as we print hotter it gets uh, stronger and with a dry filament I was not getting stringing issues even though I was printing the 280C so it was looking quite nice but here you can see uh, the blue one is the TF30PA6 the nylon filament and the orange one is TF30PP or polypropylene that's a filament from Extrant I, I have as well and I was comparing those two and then the grey one is the wet nylon and here you can see on this one 7.5 uh, this was the filament when it was at the most wet state and I found the results quite bad so I put it in the oven for two hours and did the remaining tests so straight away I got better results by drying it for two hours uh, but based on print temperature it's the same trend as you go lower in print temperature the, the strength or layer addition is, is going down so there's a there's a obvious line between the print temperature and strength but as it was wet it's very random and there was very often uh, quite high differences between test pieces so it's not very reliant <laughs> to to test out wet nylon but uh, you can see here compared to the polypropylene uh, the polypropylene at the higher temperatures are is a quite more stronger in layer addition but on the normal let's say temperatures 230 240 for nylon the nylon is, is a little bit stronger um, so overall the nylon has more stable uh, strength based on temperature the polypropylene really shines at 270 and 280 and then drops quite a bit here at 260 but nylon stays pretty much uh, with a similar trend just the slope line you can see here is it's just going stronger and stronger and there's no like big jump in the in the numbers but um, printing at 270 is, is, and 280 is, is somewhat similar but a little bit of increase but here on 260 uh, drop and, and then it goes a little bit down so you can see how the, the filament behaves so for lower temperature the polypropylene uh, gives more uh, in strength than the nylon but I found it very interesting to see how much uh, the polypropylene changed at, at 270 so the nylon is getting more granular in, in its change but this was uh, quite fun to do and you can see from the test bin here it's quite a lot of <laughs> breaks I, I think this is almost 300 breaks um, while I was doing this I was also printing out other materials to, to compare it like other nylons and I'm gonna switch over back to the screen to show you much results for this filament compared to other nylons. So here on, on this graph is uh, quite a number of filaments. I've been testing here are different types of filament and here's the average number for nylons 12.2 12, kilos. Um, in this test I have the, the extrant GF30PA coming at 18.9 while the average for nylon is 12.2 is so you can see the this filament is much more stronger in layer addition than other nylons had and here's one from nylon x uh, a carbon fiber based filament at 13.2 but this is 18.9 so this filament has much more layer addition compared to the average number on and especially the other other nylons so it's quite a quite a jump so it was uh, nice to see how stronger how strong this uh, filament is and here you can see the average number for for extra filament um, this is the value for the maximum value for each filament uh, based on the temperature um, here I have PLAs and all kind of filaments on this graph but that's uh, another video <laughs> I did on the test machine to explain everything but at least you can see here the extra end is quite more st stronger in layer addition than other other nylons and, and very and also many other filament types like patchy or, or ASA but this will be it for this video I hope you liked this video and, and please leave a comment or a like on the video and tell me what you think 
and it's been quite fun printing with this filament and I had a small like cabinet outside the spool while I was printing to try to keep the moisture out while, while I was printing the test pieces but uh, as mentioned nylon will get the moisture from the air and, and start to degrade uh, quite a lot with the moisture so you have to take it out before you print again but overall I was really happy with this filament I was getting extremely clean and good prints and they are very st strong prints I've been taking the hammer <laughs> on some test pieces and, and breaking breaking some parts and, and also with the break test it was quite intensive tests with all the temperatures and also the moisture in the filament before drying to show you my results on, on that but I think this will be it for this video. It's been a good uh, filament to test and if you have a chance to get this filament you can look it up. It's Extrant TF30PA6. That's the name of the filament. But for now, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.